All right, in this video, I'm revealing huge winning products for Shopify dropshipping that you need to test right now. If you're dropshipping and you're looking for those decent or golden winning products, you need to check out the products that we're gonna reveal today. We're gonna jump in the computer, I'm gonna reveal all of these. Some of these are gonna be huge trending products that are popping off right now and you wanna take advantage of these for your brand right now and others are gonna be great, great, great evergreen winning products that you'll be able to make thousands of dollars per month over and over and over again throughout the rest of the year and beyond. So whether you're looking for those 5,000 per month products that are very, very reliable or those six figure per month huge training products, we've got those in today's video. So stick to, stay tuned, we're gonna jump in the computer, but before we do that, if you guys could please do me a huge favor, smash that like button down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm here to help you guys create your own successful online business, that way you can have the lifestyle of your dreams. Leave any comments or questions down below. I love going ahead and connecting with you. Keep in mind, I'm still offering free one-on-one -on -one coaching calls for all new members of the Dropship Fortune program. That's closing very, very soon. So if you wanna take advantage of not only having the full A to Z guide, being in the Dropship Fortune Club, um, you'll also get on a free coaching call with myself where I can help you build a customized game plan for your business help you scale up your ads, whatever you need. You will get on the call with myself. Go ahead, check that down in the description box below. But like right now, let's go ahead, jump in the computer, and let's go through all of these products. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm gonna first preface this video with what I say a lot during these product reveal videos, that some of these products are trending right now. They're the huge golden winning products that if you capitalize on, you can make a lot of money within a couple months, but they're trends. While some of these products are gonna be more perfect for being an evergreen product, a product that you can actually sell month after month through all of 2020 and even beyond that. I've got several products on my brands that I've sold for years. You don't just need to capitalize on those huge golden winning products that do six figures per month. Some of those products are gonna be that, but some products are gonna be perfect for you to have very, very consistent money coming in money, uh, month after month after month. So keep that in mind, and I know a lot of you out there love the one product store method. Some of these products are absolutely dominating right now on one product store. So if you like that, definitely go ahead and check out some of these videos while some of the other ones are gonna be more perfect for those of you that like mid-level or specific niche stores, the more branded stores. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the very first one I've got for you is this baby nail trimmer. Um, and we've actually put out a very, very similar product that a lot of you out there are dominating with right now and that's actually meant for pets. It's essentially the same exact product for pets um, but I know if any of you out there are parents, you know how difficult it can be to trim your baby's nails and how quote unquote dangerous it can be because you can cut too deep into it. This essentially is just filing down the nails. This has 180,000 views started three weeks ago. so a pretty decent amount. It's got great, great, great um, comments and shares. And I'll show you exactly why that is in a second. But this is the product page right here. Um, so right now they're selling it for about $30. The product page in itself actually is not that bad, and I believe this one is a one product store. Yeah, this is a one product store. For a one product store, this could actually definitely be improved. And I actually, for this product, would not go the, the very, very specific one product store route. You can do um, a, a, a few amount of products, but I wouldn't do one product store because of the, the niche it's in. But this is a one product store and it's working out extremely well right now. Their product page is decent, but overall their store can be improved. This is the product on AliExpress. So their margins are decent. Their margins aren't amazing, but they're pretty decent. Um, but with the amount of money that comes into the baby niche, this is where they can really, really dominate with this. Now, the reason why I, I bring this up about why I would, I personally would not do a one product store for this is yeah, you don't need to have a store that has tons and tons and tons of products. But with the baby niche in particular, there's three events in a person's life where people essentially throw out any budget. And that's a person's death, a person's birth, and a person's marriage. Around those three events, um, su studies have shown time and time and time again that essentially budgets just get thrown out the window and people spend tons and tons and tons of money. And when it comes to someone's baby, they're willing to spend a lot of money. So if you have a product that is working out extremely well with Facebook ads and you take them to a, a product page, you know that's where you wanna go ahead and capitalize on cross-sells and upsells. Average order value is one of the most important things for not just drop shipping, for, but for e-commerce as a whole. You wanna increase that average order value um, and only having one product available works well for some products. It makes you more branded for some products, but um, for certain niches out there, you wouldn't want to do that. So for this, I'm not saying you need to go ahead and have you know 30 products on the store. You could do that if you wanted to have a really, really well-branded baby niche, 
but I would have a couple complimentary winning products that would go well with this to increase the average order value, um, increase the margins with this. Now, one thing I can say about the baby niche, the baby niche, there's tons of money in it, but you've gotta be, be um, branded. You've gotta have your branding on point. Um, parents and the people buying um, things for babies, they're wanting to buy from a reputable brand, a brand they actually trust. So that's where you need to have the branding on point. That's where I said, you know, this product page in itself is not bad, but the store as a whole definitely has some improvement that they should do, especially on the homepage. And people do check out your homepage. Most people don't just go. If you live in your Google Analytics, most people aren't just going from um, the product page, clicking buy now, and then that being that. Some people do that, but all in all, most people go will go check out the rest of your store. So you've gotta keep that in mind. So the next product I've got for you right here is this heat warmer. So this is one that is not um, is not really trending right now. This is one that um, you know I personally think has a lot of potential with it being the winter season. It's a chargeable hand warmer. It's right now only got 65 orders. So this would frankly be considered an undiscovered winner if it is a winner. This is one of those more hit or miss. This might be a complete dud with Facebook ads, but this is one that I think if you get the right store, um, this one is definitely, definitely worth testing, especially with the right video ads. So the next one we've got right now that's really, really trending. This one's got 170,000 views, started about three weeks ago. This video in itself is a little bit gross, but um, a lot of times the, the really, really gross, shocking ones are the ones that really catches people's eye on Facebook. And we've talked many times before about um, oral health products and not even oral health, just rejuvenation and health in themselves, how they work extremely well um, with Facebook ads. And this one's working out well. Now this one's been around for a while. Several brands have really dominated with this product, just like with a lot of the other facial and oral health products. But at least right now, this one is trending. The product page in itself for one product store is extremely small. Now, this right here it absolutely needs to be improved. I mean, their, their, their text right here is cut off. This isn't a high quality photo. I've talked many times in other videos about where you can get free, high definition, high quality branded photos for your store. This is not that. Um, so for one product store, this has a ton of improvement. Um, so if you can make a better store, which you absolutely should be able to, um, you know, this is where you could come in and completely dominate with this product. The margins on this actually are pretty decent. Um, so this one in itself is worth checking out. And this one's also one that there's several other winning oral health products out there. You'd be able to have some great cross sales, upsells. I would check out where it's already selling. I believe this one is selling right now in the US. So you can see this one's dominating in the US right now, um, which a lot of times health um, really does well in US and UK. Um, this one right here is another one for baby ones. So this one, if you have a baby store, you could sell that um, other product we mentioned along with this. And this is essentially like a little um, sleeping bag thing that, you know, while, while a baby's in a stroller or something like that, they could go ahead and be in this. This is one of those just cute presents that a lot of parents or not even just parents, family members, friends buy up immediately. This one is essentially undiscovered. So this one's absolutely worth testing if you have a baby store, you're in the baby niche. So this one right here is very interesting. So this is a travel mask and pillow and I'm sure several of you have already seen this. What makes this so interesting is this brand got featured on Viral Thread. And I'll show you in a second. This is absolutely a drop shipping brand that's doing this. They're on Viral Thread. So they've got 385,000 views. Started two weeks ago. They've got a ton of engagement. Um, if you get on Viral Thread, you're gonna have a ton of traffic head to your store. So this one right here, FYI, depending on where your order's being delivered, the item may take two to three weeks to arrive. Obviously drop shipping. I've talked in other videos about how I feel about this. Um, if you are going to do this on the product page, there's much more tactful, better ways that won't drive um, your conversion rates down. Um, this is not the way to do this. This will absolutely hurt your conversion rate if you do it like this. Um, there's other more tactful ways, and I've talked about that in other videos. Um, this is obviously a general store. Product page could absolutely be improved, um, but all in all, you know, they're doing very well with this. They got on viral thread, and that's one thing too. You know, if just because you've got awesome, incredible marketing, so you 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 have those ways to get on viral thread or Buzzfeed or whatever it is, you've got to have your store on point. You've got to have the the whole funnel on point, even if you know it ends up being very very profitable for you you could be missing out on a ton of sales. And I guarantee you, 
that brand is doing well with it, but they're, they're missing out on a lot of sales. So this is the product right here. This is definitely one to go ahead and test. Obviously it's trending right now. So this one right here, this is a um, essentially a, a spigot for um, different uh, uh, juices or beverages. You can go ahead and put this in the actual container and then it'll go ahead and pop it out. Now, this is one of those kind of quirky type products, but these quirky type products are ones that do extremely well with Facebook ads. I've talked many times before about anything home goods or kitchen um, that, that's cheaper and is kind of quirky. They're, um, they're just quick impulse buys for people on Facebook. So this is one that if you have a kitchen store, home goods store, you absolutely need to test this product. This is one that's going right now. This is the product page for it. So they've got quantity breaks, which is good. I would do quantity breaks for this. Um, product page could definitely be extended, um, but all in all, overall not terrible. Um, the store in itself really, really looks jumbled up to me, but you already know my viewpoints on um, general stores, especially for 2020. So I'm not gonna go into that here. Um, but definitely go ahead and test that product. This is the product here on AliExpress. This right here is a heated um, hanger. So you can see the brand right here is called Heated Hanger, but in several of the videos, they've either got the, the name uh, blurred out or it's got a different name on here. So they're obviously creating a one product store around you know, an AliExpress product that has its own name. 320,000 views about two weeks ago tons of engagement. Um, that is what you'd obviously want to do. If you're doing a one product store or even a specific niche store, you want to go ahead and create your own branding. Um, and so that store did that right. You want to create your own branding um, that's really, really related to the product. If you're doing a one product store, you've got to have a very, very specific name. That's the first thing the customer sees. The first things they see is your name and your logo. And I see so many people pass over the importance of that. They'll choose just some random name or they'll, they'll choose essentially a very, very low quality logo. And you've gotta have those two things on point. But this right here, this one right here, I look through the comments and people love this product. So this is absolutely one to start testing. This one right here has been around for a couple years and this one always comes back in the winter time and does extremely well. It's, it's just a very efficient um, you know, wiper for your windows when you have ice or snow. I'm here in Austin, so we don't have to worry about that, but I know a lot of cold places, this can really, really be beneficial. Really, really cheap product on AliExpress. This is one that time and time and time again sells extremely well. So if you have the right store, um, right branding, I would go with that. This right here is a blind spot corrector. Essentially, it's another mirror that you stick onto your mirror. Really, really helps with blind spots. Um, you know, a lot of people don't need this, but um, there's a lot of people out there that they have trouble with their blind spots this would help them. And this started three weeks ago, it's got 250,000 views. The engagement on this is not that great, but um, obviously the, the store that's um, promoting this right now is still pumping out money to this. And, and that shows something. You don't need to have unbelievable engagement. You know, a lot of times engagement on ads, you know, shows that, you know, the product in itself is shocking or something like that. But if the product is really, really straightforward, I've had many products that do extremely well, but the engagement, frankly, is, is, is relatively low just because it's a very, very simple product. A lot of times it, products in the apparel niche or something that's so straightforward, it's not gonna have this unbelievable engagement, but if it's got high views, that means money's being pushed to it. So keep that in mind as well. This is the product right here. Essentially, you just stick this on um, and this does well. So if you have an auto parts store, um, and I know many of you out there do, this one's gonna be great for that. This one right here has 1.1 million views started two weeks ago. This one's got the pretty decent engagement. This is absolutely one for you to test. This is a big trending product right now. Essentially, it's um, these slippers that you put over your shoes so you don't slip on ice or anything like that. You wouldn't get your shoes muddy. There's lots of benefits for this and it's a cheap product. So this is a store right now that's selling this product. Like I said, it's got 1.1 million views in two weeks. It's great, great, great amount of views. So this is definitely one that you should go ahead and test. Really, really cheap product on AliExpress. So your margins can be great with this product. And to my knowledge, I've only seen that one brand selling this product. So right now it's a big pie that I don't see, see many people taking advantage of. So I would go ahead and really, really jump on this right now. This right here is for all of you hikers or people in the camping niche, outdoors niche. 
Um, essentially, it's a, it's a mat um, that you can have for camping that's going to make it really, really soft for you. It's got 619,000 views in two weeks, which is pretty good for this niche. Um, and this right here shows the product page. The product page for this is actually pretty decent. I like this product page quite a bit. It's called Delta Hiking. Um, I believe this is not a one product store, if I remember correctly. Um, actually, I think it, I think they've got two different types of products. Yeah, they've got two products. They've got a hammock and this. So this is another example of you know if you've got a um, a one product store to go ahead and have another product at least that you can go ahead and take advantage of. And they've got a higher ticket um, product right here that they could absolutely have a great upsell. This goes extremely well with that product. So you want to have um, a complimentary product, um, and it really really makes your branding seem on point. So definitely go ahead, check out this. This one right here, they're selling it for $184. And this is the product right here on AliExpress, same exact product, selling for $22 on AliExpress. So their margins on this are extremely, um, extremely good and high. So you don't need to have you know a product that on AliExpress is extremely expensive to, to be high ticket. If you've got your branding on point, branding adds so much more value to your product. And that's why people that don't care about branding and just want to go ahead and go, you know, the very, very kind of just generic route with it, it blows me away because you can have such better margins and make so much more money. I've seen the most success um, from myself and other people in this space come from branding. Um, and so that's where branding really, really will make your margins go through the roof. Another one right here, this is another one that can you know be huge, huge, huge on the right store. Um, this one right here is 145,000 views about three weeks ago. Essentially, it's a seat belt that won't go over your, your stomach while you're, or over your waist while you're pregnant. So it won't have any damage to the baby. It goes in between your legs. This is one that is working out right now, but it's more on that kind of mid-level for um, for the niche, you know, right now it's it's still relatively undiscovered, and this is one that one you'd be able to really really increase the price. And by the way, if you haven't seen my pricing strategy videos, you definitely need to check that out. That's probably the biggest mistake I see beginners make is they're just uh, pricing their products off, off of what Oberlo tells them or um, what they think is uh, the right price. I've seen so many people have winning products on their store and they miss it because they just had a dollar too high for what. Um, the customer's deem is valued on Facebook. So you need to go ahead and make sure you've got an algorithm you're following when pricing your products um, to help you find your max price for that product. Um, this is absolutely one you'd wanna go ahead and do for that. But this right here is a product that, um, when it comes to the safety of a baby, um, people are willing to spend a lot of money. So even on a baby store, like what we just mentioned, this is gonna be one that you could absolutely take advantage of and this is one that even if you wanted a one product store to go ahead and have cross sales with um, another product that's related to pregnant mothers, not mothers that already have children, but you know pregnant mothers, those people spend a lot of money um, and that, that's a huge audience that not many people are taking advantage of with drop shipping. A lot of people are taking advantage of um, you know parents and, and babies, but not many are taking advantage of people who are currently pregnant and waiting to have a baby So keep that in mind as well. That's a big opportunity for you This is a product right here next one I've got for you is this acupuncture mat now We've talked a lot about um, how one of my favorite specific niches for 2020 is a massage and rejuvenation space And this goes perfectly along with that and I know several of you out there have been taking advantage of my advice with that and are doing extremely well with some of the products we've talked before about how the Theragun's taking off and there's so many different products right now in the massage and rejuvenation space that are absolutely dominating and this goes right along with that. Essentially, it's, it's a mat you can lay down. It kind of has the same benefits um, of say reflexology or acupuncture. It's not gonna obviously be as good as if you went and actually had that done, but it's gonna still add um, a level of relief and therapy for people and this one right now is working out. So if you're in that space and you've got a well-branded store in that space, I would absolutely start testing this product. Um, the next one I've got for you is for kids, and this is where kids can use this board to draw using essentially light. Um, so they don't need to you know, have a bunch of you know, markers or crayons or something like that. They can use light. Very cool product, and this is one of those quick, easy buys for parents. You don't have to have it extremely highly priced but your margins on this can be 
pretty decent. So if you have a, a you know children's toy store, or um, I know a couple of you out there have children's education, this one's perfect for that store. I, I definitely wouldn't do a one product store for this, but um, this would go really, really well in that specific niche. Um, next one I've got for you, this ad in itself is very low quality, but it's got 180,000 views about three weeks ago. And this is the product right here. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a holder for um, your toilet paper. So you can put your phone or anything. There's actually other types of this on um, AliExpress that are doing very well in themselves. Um, and so you could actually create, you know, a bathroom store. If you wanted to go that specific, or if you have a home goods store, this is perfect for you. And you can create that collection on your store. You don't have to just sell this product. You could have this product and have a whole collection of different options related to this that are more high tech or whatever. Um, and then you're going to have your customers essentially be able to see which one they would want. And it can tip you off if there's another product on your store that you should test. I found so many of my winning products um, by just having great products that fit well within my brand and then customers coming to the store to go to one product page and looking around the store and choosing another product. That's the cheapest way and the most efficient way essentially to find a winning product. So keep that in mind. That's one thing that all of you out there that have one product stores you are missing out on is your customers many times will tell you what a winning product is and what you should be testing if you have a decent number of products that fit well within your brand. Now make sure they do fit well within your brand. This is for all of you out there that have a phone case store. Essentially it's a phone case that holds AirPods. Pretty cool. Um, this is it right here now. This one is very, very undiscovered. I believe this one has, it's got 150,000 views about two weeks ago on AliExpress right now. It's only got 177 orders. I think the um, person using this ad, they've also got, they've, they've probably got a um, VIP link on AliExpress and I can talk about what that is and how to get that in other videos if you'd like me to do that. This one right here only has three, three reviews. Most likely this has um, higher reviews than this. And so I would definitely deem this worth testing. Normally if this had a lot of reviews and was 4.0, I wouldn't test it. Um, but I believe it only has one, um, two stars. So right now, you know, there just needs to be more data on what the actual reviews are for the quality of this product. But overall, I would definitely start testing this. Um, and while the phone case niche is very, very saturated, the better branding you do with this, people just dominate with this niche. This is a huge, huge, huge pie that you can take advantage of. Um, and this is a very unique product that right now is undiscovered. And so I would absolutely start taking advantage of this right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, that's gonna wrap up today's product reveal video. Definitely make sure to go ahead and check out the Dropship Fortune Club down below. I'm still offering free one-on-one -on -one coaching calls for all new members who sign up so I can give you full game plan specific to your brand or store, help you with your ads, all of that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any comments or questions down below. I love going ahead and connecting with all of you. Be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.